I am Qtipis of Borg. Resistance is futile. Your life, as you have known it, is over. From this day forward, you will watch us. Prepare yourself for MCTV and the J Files. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? And, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. That's good. Now we got that out of the way. <laughs> uh, Welcome to the Alien Edition of MCV. I have a show going on for you. We have some great uh, um, technology happening here with our intro. That was, was uh, intro. That's pretty good. Yeah, and, uh, we have the J-Files. All of the J-Files. We have them. great. And uh, I hope you enjoy the show. I think we will. So, yeah. We never saw Back like and, uh, <laughs> we got here our Jeopardy, our special Jeopardy round. And, uh, okay, this is Science Fiction Jeopardy, as you know, this is a science fiction show. And we got some of our esteemed contestants over here. We got Tom Bell, Paul Houle, and Mr. Garrett himself. The the, the, they're, they're the experts on this kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to start off real quick, our first Jeopardy round. And uh, we drew straws before, and uh, Tom gets to start. The category. Yes, I'll take Star Wars for 100, please. Okay, this is the name of the monster that tried to kill Luke in Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Paul. Jabba Duhat. Uh, sorry, that's wrong. That's minus 100. Anyone else? Okay, time is up. That would be Rancor. Okay, Tom, take again. I'll take Star Wars for 200, please. The name of the sword of the Jedi Knights. <laughs> yeah. What is a lightsaber? Uh, that would be correct for 200 points. Tom's our first contestant in. Okay, pick again. I'll take Star Wars for 300, please. The home planet of the Ewoks. Tom. What is Endor? That would be correct for uh, 300 points. Okay, pick again. I'll go out on a limb and take Star Wars for 400, please. Okay, here we go. Uh, the name of Darth Vader before he turned to the Dark Force. It's a bit of toughy. name of Darth Vader before he turned to the Dark Force. Okay, that would be Anakin. Okay, choose again. Star Wars for 500, please. Okay. This is the home planet of Princess Leia, which was destroyed in Star Wars. Oh, first one. Uh, Earth. 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 No, it's not Earth. Okay, that would be a lid <laughs> Aladrat. I don't even know how to say that anyway. Okay, Tom, Tom, pick once more. Once more, I'll take Star Trek for 100, please. Star Trek for 100. The alien that trapped Voyager in the Delta Quadrant. Oh. <laughs> Who, Who is the caretaker? The caretaker, that would be correct. Oh, he's on the yes. board with 100 points. Oh, Mr. Garrett. Okay, choose. Well, I get to choose again. You get to Do choose I? now. Uh, let's go for X-Files for 100. X-Files for 100. Agent Scully's first name. <laughs> Mr. Garrett. Who is Dana? That would wreck for another 100 points. We're dead. <laughs> you get to choose again. I get to choose again. Oh, uh, let's go, uh, oh, let's go dangerous miscellaneous for 100. What's the what? Miscellaneous for 100. Miscellaneous for 100, okay. In the movie Spaceballs, this speed was reached by the enemy ship. What is ludicrous speed? That is correct for 100. Okay, we're going to be heading out. And uh, we'll come back at you after the J-Files, the premiere of the J-Files. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks, contestants, for, for doing good. So... Boo, <coughs> Jen. What? Hi, Hi. I'm back. We have Derek Malov here, who is actually claims he was abducted by aliens. We're heading off to the J-Files. We'll be right back with an interview with Derek. And enjoy. It'd be great. What's that? 
Mountain Dew? No, radiator fluid. Hmm. Let's check that. What is that? Might be them. Yeah. Well, it's about time. Where's our pizza, hey? What? We're here with the MBI. Oh, We're sorry. supposed to be investigating this case. Oh. Man, I hate the Mornville Bureau of Investigation. What, what's that? Uh, I said uh, it's a uh, nice Mournville we weather. Weather, we're, yeah. We're having yeah, the weather. Is good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the evidence is up front. I, we don't yeah, we think it's the work of the Ash Bandits. Yeah, yeah it's their trademark and stuff. You know. Don't I know you guys from somewhere? Uh, uh, no, no, no. no. We, no we, we, we gotta go. Go, yeah. Go. Well, here it is. Moldy. It looks like this used to be a person. Yeah, I saw the same thing on the Twilight Zone. Oh, shut up! Not another one of your references to those fictional shows with, which have absolutely nothing, nothing to do with reality. But Smelly, it's the work of aliens. How did you ever manage to become a member of the MBI? I like stories. <sighs> well? This guy is fried anyway. What the? What's that? I seen it on the Discovery Channel. It's the residue the aliens leave behind. Oh, sorry. Uh, we gotta go. Yeah. Bye. I'm like cold about my car. Has your car ever reduced anyone to a pile of ash before? Pile of ash before? What are you talking about? Oh my god, I can't believe it! No! It's such a good car! It's my baby! What has it done? What has it done? Tell me! Hey, it's just a question. Sorry, sorry. I told you it was aliens. Yes, Smoldy. It was aliens. Little green men who run around eating donuts. I'm gonna lose my lunch. Hey, your call will be ready tomorrow. Gee, the poor guy. Ah, he'll get over it. Hey, let's look at his car. Well, there should be some evidence here. I don't know. Everything looks in order here. Gee, you're right, Moldy. This only looks like a badger's been using it as a chew toy. I'd rather be chewing on a hamburger. Snap out of it! Let's get this down to the lab for analysis. Yeah, then we could get some hamburgers.
you doing? How can I help you? Hey, ugly! Holy bad breath! Jeez, do something about that, buddy! Uh, Fill it up uh, if you're smart enough. Okay. Hey, and why don't you check the radiator fluid? It's been acting up a bit, so, uh, you inbreed? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay, you better! Loser! Tool. And burn it too. You are such a tool. Needs radiator fluid. Things all torn up. <coughs> Windows down. So Captain Kirk was just standing there, and he realized that Spock was right. It was little aliens and not foot fungus. Moldy, that is by far and away and without the shadow of a doubt, the dumbest story I have ever heard. I mean, that has absolutely nothing to do with our case. That's Star Trek. We should concentrate on our work. What about that, uh, bit we just picked up on the police scanner, you know. I mean, that radiator bottle? Wait a second, didn't we find a radiator cable that had been all chewed up at the car? There must be some connection. We should get down to the lab right away. But what about the hamburger? Shut up, Moldy. Come on. Hey. I didn't do it, man! The car was like don't, that. Don't even give me that. The car was like that when I got there. Ow! Come on, you punk. I didn't steal the car. It wouldn't start. because it had no radiator fluid. It's all over the place. <laughs> radiator fluid? I still say it's aliens. evidence is right there. I've been working on a couple theories about this and it's quite interesting. Hey, make sure not to touch that stuff. If you come with me, we can I can show you how That's these work. some calculations and based on the temperature of which this must have happened and based on the, the scatter of the ashes around I think it can only be the generation of some antimatter because when he tried boosting his engine there's a very very small chance that you can produce some antimatter now as we all know when antimatter comes into contact with matter what happens boom mm -hmm. it blows everything up and I think that's what happened to him. You see, Moldy? It was just a perfectly normal, everyday, one in a million chance freak occurrence. But... I don't buy it. Wait a second. I also found some radioactively silicon-based organic molecules in the ashes, and that can only be explained by the presence of aliens. Aliens! 
Yes, I knew it. Come on, baby. Come on, I've been good to you. You know I have. Come on, don't quit me now. Come on. I've warmed you up on cold mornings. Put the best oil in you. I'm late. I'm gonna fix you if it kills me. Down, 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 over, over. Oh, Derek's gone. Oh, the other way. There we go. Perfect. That was a great day, Kyle. Okay, guys, we're gonna interview Derek. Okay. He was abducted by aliens, or so he claims. So he claims. So, Derek, tell me what happened briefly. Well, I was sitting there in my backyard, and well, aliens picked me up. Really? Anyway, we're going off the activity now. We're. Hi, we're back. Uh, sorry about the last segment. I know it was a bit choppy. It wasn't that good. But uh, we're going to get the scores now here with Estelle. Estelle Clemens, our esteemed scorekeeper. So what are the scores, Estelle? Okay, we have Mr. Garrett taking a commanding lead with 1,100 points. Tom is in second place with 600. And Paul is at negative 100. Ouch. Okay, <laughs> Paul, you're going to have to remedy that. Okay, we're going to get started here. Mr. Garrett, you were the last one. As you can see, we got rid of some of the scores. We play, kept on playing. And uh, go, Mr. Garrett. Well, let's go for uh, space above and beyond for 100. Pardon? Space above and beyond space for 100. Space above and beyond, okay. Nobody knows anything about. Nickname of the 58th Squadron. <laughs> Wild Aces. Wild Aces. Oh, sorry. That is incorrect. Anyone else want to try that out? And you had to form that in, the, in oh, a question. Oh, I'm sorry. It is, what are the wild cards? Okay, go Mr. Garrett. Pick once again. Uh, let's go for um, miscellaneous for 500. Miscellaneous for 500. This series involved rodent eating, attempting rodent involved rodents eating, attempting. I don't know. What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> rodent eating, attempting to take over the earth. Uh, rodents attempting eating, attempting to. What? What? I don't know. <laughs> rodent. <laughs> This series involved rodent eating, attempting to take over the earth. He wrote these. What is that? Give them all 500 points, okay? Uh, give them all 500 points. That's my fault. Okay. Mr. Garrett, pick again. Okay. Um, space above and beyond for 500. Okay. Get rid of those. The name of the alien Red Baron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only person that watches this show is Mr. Bautestein, so uh, uh, <laughs> none of us know the answers to these okay, questions. Okay, <laughs> what is, who is Chiggy Von Rechtop? Okay, Mr. Garrett. No one won that. No one won that. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Garrett. Uh, Star Trek for 300. For 300. Captain Kirk's middle name. <laughs> go, Paul. Who is Tiberius? That's right. For 300 <laughs> points. Way to go, Paul. He's on the board. Okay, pick Paul. Can I get... Uh, Space above and beyond for 200. Base ship of the 58th. <laughs> I don't think you guys are going to get this. It is the Saratoga. Oh, okay, wow. we're going to head out and we're going to finish up this round. And when we come back, we're going to have final jeopardy to see who takes home our mystery prize. Hi. 
We're back now with Derek. So Derek, were you scared? No, no, the aliens were really nice. We sat down, had mochaccinos, and watched Monday Night Football. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it, it was great. What games were playing? What teams? Uh, Dallas and the Raiders. Score. I don't remember. Because before it was over, they had to do some like brain probes and mm -hmm. stuff on So you really? believe in aliens then, Derek? Oh, most of my best friends are aliens. Oh, well, that's good. Actually, now we're going to a music video. By Clutter? Yeah. Called Scotch Tape. Good that, song. that song was written by aliens. Really? Aaron, when I come back up from the bow. Konnichiwa. And now Derek's going to tell us about the, oh, Derek, 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 <laughs> the implant. The implant they put in your brain so implant. they can track you. Tell us about that. Uh, it's gone now. Really? Yeah. Derek, you scare me. Oh, I was beat as a child. This round, and uh, Mr. Garrett uh, had finished off with 1,600, Paul with 600, and Tom with 600. And uh, their wagers, Mr. Garrett wagered 300, Tom 600, and Paul 600. They want to blow it all, okay. And the category is Star Trek, okay? Here is the final Jeopardy question. <laughs> the name of the last episode. You have 30 seconds. All things come and gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, 
Oh shit! <laughs> the name of the last episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> okay. Ten seconds. Last. The last episode. The name of the last episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Everyone got their message? You all got okay? Okay, it's Mr. Garrett. Well, I'm not sure, sure but down. I think it is all things must pass. No, that's correct. Sorry, Mr. Garrett. Paul. Picard and his ship. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> again, no, oh, Paul's incorrect. Sorry about that. Tom. The Last Frontier. No, the last Frontier. No, so movie, that's the movie. <laughs> it's all good. Think dot dot dot. Sorry about that. Okay, so cool. Garrett is the win with uh, 1,300 points in the mystery prize. Oh, come on. Have social sportsmanship. <laughs> Thank you for joining us <laughs> for our brothers, first guys. science fiction well Jeopardy. And uh, we're going to head out and we'll come back and get you soon. I look at that good sportsmanship. And you guys get your mystery prize, all three of you. I'll buy you all mystery prize. prize, okay? <laughs> See you later. Are we off camera now? Yeah, we are. Eric, yeah. <laughs> if you could give us a few last uh, words of advice in case any of us are ever abducted by aliens. Do what they say. Really? Okay, well, Derek, we hope you never are abducted again. And if you are, good luck. Good luck, and, if, and come back to us soon. Because, because you have a family here. But we're going to be using right. on May 10th, 1996. We'll be back next Friday. Yeah, yeah and it will be kind of but we'll have the two calls again, I hope. Yeah, very soon. See you next week. I'm sick of this game. I hate this game. J Files Pilot Episode Shot 3, Take 3. Tool. Hey, you ugly! <laughs> 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 you it's like you're standing there for like. Why <laughs> well, you, you're supposed to say, hey, how are you doing? Okay, wait a second. When, when I come back, when I come back, <laughs> go back, go back. <laughs> I just say, hey, are I just say, hey, are we recording? Hey, you tool. Are we still recording? <laughs> Take four. Okay, help you. Hey, hey ugly! <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> okay, here you go, ugly. You're taking lots of my valuable I time. Know. Get it together. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, Top. Wait a <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you were, sh were you shaking him when you, when you went up to him? Yeah. Yeah, was he okay? Don't do that at you. What? <laughs> Focus, man! Focus! Here, 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 ready? <laughs> Take this, Tonga. Okay, deep breath. There we go. Remember, stern face. You, 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 never, break, you never break the grin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> stern face. <laughs> well, maybe not that stern. Just flat face, man. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> are we going? <laughs> no, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> nice to know how you with professionals here, you know? What? I can't feel my legs! My nose is out of place! 